Joe, stop being a Muppet. You know the mantra. Master the power that binds with spark for greater good. I can bind their anima. But where is the greater good in making soldiers? We should be making stonemasons to repair our crumbling wonders. The wonders have been here for centuries and are doing just fine. Once you shape a guardian, it will do whatever asked of it. Carry stones, lay mortar. Anna, how are they to lay stones? They have axes for hands. We're shaping warriors for a war that ended a thousand years ago. Six hundred and sixty-five years ago? Your test is in less than an hour. You need to know your dates. Anna, I'll be fine. It just feels like a waste of rare and precious anima. Otto! Guardians serve and protect the lands of Spark. They are bound to a purpose and so are you. You are now promised to become a Shaper. But first, you must pass your trials. Anna, you are my betrothed. But you're also the Supreme Shaper, the most powerful anima master in all of Spark. You can conjure an army of Guardians, more than any ten Shapers. What does it matter? The Supreme Shaper of Spark cannot marry an apprentice, Otto. It's forbidden by law and tradition. Our wedding is in two moons. If you don't pass your trials, you can go and find yourself a Mason's daughter. Anna, I'm well prepared. I'll pass. There is nothing in this world that would keep me from you. Jakku is waiting for you. Now hurry. Oh, and don't die. I won't marry a dead man either. There is no more putting this off. I'm going to pass the trials today. I may never become a great shaper, but I'll be an amazing supreme husband to Anna. You are late, Otto. Sorry, Master Jakku. I was admiring the architecture. This place fascinates me. I believe you are the oldest student to attempt to pass the trials since... <laughs> since forever. I just lack the proper motivation. But I am indeed ready. Uh, should we get started? Well then, it is customary that before entering the Hall of Tribulations, you charge your staff with anima. <laughs> ah, of course. I'm just a little too eager to get through this. Roam the grounds and return to see me when you have gathered sufficient anima. Let us enter the Hall of Tribulations. Follow me. Today, Apprentice Otto presents himself within the ancient Hall of Tribulations to demonstrate his fundamental mastery of the powerful art of shaping and to vow. I know it's customary, Master Jakku, but could we just start already? I, I know the litany by heart. Anna made me memorize it. Very well. It would be nice to get this done before lunch. Apprentice Otto, do you present yourself willingly Fully aware of the risks to mind, heart, and body? Yes, I do. And I have the scars to prove it. Then let the trials begin. Your first test is the shaping of a guardian protector. <laughs> right then. Master the power that binds. When you create a guardian, it is bound to your spark, your will. Now, move around and see if the binds hold. Excellent! Now, loosen the binds and order your protectors to move to a location. And now, Otto, what comes next? I tighten the binding so they follow me once again. I could do that in my sleep. That's it. Show me now how you can control your guardians in action. Order them to move to this location. <laughs> now make a temporary binding and order them to this new location. Excellent. Let's test the heartiness of their spark. 
I will shape a target Moppet, and you command your protectors to destroy it. It'd be so easy to just smash it with my staff. I may be an elder, but I'm not deaf. Use your guardians. Fantastic. Now, concentrate. The statue behind me has an ancient purpose. When properly set, Anima flows through it, appeasing the eternal temper of Mount Spark. Move the statue to its ordained place. I doubt you have enough Anima to do this. You can find some in the target Moppets I have crafted. Destroy as many as you require. I did it, Master Jakku! It's working! Well, that's a novel solution. Everyone else has always just animated this... Oh, no, no matter. <laughs> You've accomplished the task. Disband your guardians and follow me to the entrance of the hall. Is that all? I passed then. Well, that was a whole lot easier than Anna said it would be. Otto of Snowcrest Valley, I hereby declare you a Shaper of Anima and award you the Melder's Medallion, symbol of your rank, courage, and dedication to the protection of the lands of Spark. Anna will be so happily... surprised. Pledge with me the creed of the Shapers. Master, Master the, the power that binds with Spark for greater good. good. We, we are, are the world we shape. shape. In flesh, in stone, in wood. What in the name of the ancient shapers is happening? A spark! She rages! The heart shield must be broken! Master Jakku! Watch out! Oh. 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 Master Jakku? Are you okay? I can't find you! I'm fine, Otto. We need to find the Supreme Shaper. Anna? Wait! I I'm coming with you! There's no time. Meet me at Anna's home. If the heart shield is broken, we'll need every Shaper we can find. Master Jakku? Master! He left without me. I need to go and find Anna. I doubt she needs me, but I can provide moral support. Sisters of Spark, that's one big goal. How am I going to destroy it? Looks like I've got no choice. Anna! Ah! Anna! I found you! Stay alert, Otto. There may be more of them. <laughs> Zar, is this your doing? What have you done? I'm simply breaking chains forged by Shapers centuries ago. You vowed to serve and defend Spark. I serve Spark. I'm saving her. Now, allow me to unbind your soul from the Shaper's wicked creed. No! Ah! Anna! Otto, I see that Anna's betrothed has earned the Shaper's son. How could you kill Anna? She's not dead, only son. But the Shapers wouldn't have taught you anything about the Forbidden Powers now, would they? Sir, If you've any honor in you, bring your fight to me! The battle is already won, Master Jakku. I've all I need to set the world adrift, free from you and your crumbling illusions. We shall meet again in my unshapen paradise. <laughs> Master Jakku, tell me the truth. 
Is Anna dead? She has been sundered. Tsar has unbound the colors of her essence. Her mind, body, and heart. He'll have placed her colors in soul shards. Powerful crystals he can use to control golems. Sundering a soul is an evil and forbidden magic used by the lords of Sunder. Well, Sunder does sound bad, but it doesn't sound dead. There must be a way to mend her. Mend her? Sar has broken the heart shield. The world will soon be overrun with golems. You saw what Zar did. Anna was, is the supreme shaper. He shattered her. I'm going to find her pieces, put her back together, and get as far away from here as we can. Otto, Zar will grow stronger as he learns to draw power from soul shards. If we don't act quickly, we may never be able to stop him. He could bring the world to its knees. Anna is my world. Zar can rule the rest of it. So be it. Save Anna. Then maybe she can save the world. Meet me at the Shrine of Sentinels. If you're going after soul shards, you're going to need more than just protector guardians. You're going to need an army. What a tragedy. A shrine of knowledge, gifted by the ancient shapers. Mount Spark's angry spittle has laid it to waste. Well, it is a little out of sorts, but nothing we can't remedy. We just need to realign the flow of anima. Realign? But that would require... Otto, do you grasp the design of the ancient shapers? Do you see its purpose? Well, I don't know that I grasp it. But I do know how to fix it. Well then, do fix it. Restore this shrine of knowledge to its former glory, and it will teach you something. This is a new shape. The pattern allows it to expel anima. Hmm. Let's try it. That was amazing. You have a gift, Otto. You should try sundering all of your apprentices' fiancés. It's a powerful motivator. I must teach you how to control your powers before you confront Tsar and the golems he invokes. I'm not confronting Tsar if I don't have to. I'm stealing Anna's pieces back and then running for the Icelands. Once there, the only thing we'll ever need to shape again is ice cream. You won't get past the first golem if you don't learn to focus. Assume your purpose. You are a shaper, and you have vowed to protect the lands of Spark. One golem at a time. When we've got Anna back together, I'll do whatever she wants. Coordination in combat is essential. Sentinels can do devastating damage from afar, but are weak in melee. Attack the Guardian I shaped with your protectors. And then order your sentinels to move to this location. I get it. Each guardian we craft has a tactical purpose. I've reached my guardian limit. With focus and coordination. Your sentinels will do what they were shaped to do. During combat, you must anticipate the golem's actions and then move your guardians to where they are needed. Now show me that you can find your sentinels while leaving your protectors to their task, and then order the sentinels to move to a new location. The terrain provides cover and will give them an advantage. Sentinels also draw power from the surrounding vegetation. I can't find more than I already have. <laughs> They've created their own link with the land. No, Otto. All things have a link with the land because they have come from the land. You are the shaper that gave that link purpose. You have bound the Sentinel to protect the world. You must come with me, Master Jakku. I can't do this by myself. 
Just barely a shaper. How will I find these soul shards? You'll need the speed of the gods, and I haven't their legs. Zar is fleeing Snowcrest. His only way out is past the icy fortress. He will have the shards with him. You can catch him if you run. The fortress is on the other side of our mountain. The only passage there is through the weeping caves. Go up the mountain, and you'll find the entrance near the pass. May the voices of the ancient shapers guide you. If I start hearing voices, I know we're in trouble. Go now. Spark needs you. You are the last able shaper. For better or worse, you are all we and Anna has. Otto the Shaper. <laughs> Behold the power of total freedom. My creations have wills of their own. Yours are slaves to the whim of the misguided. What has he done? Sar's creations are not free. It is driven by rage. Why is Sar going to all this trouble to dissuade me? He knows I'm no match for him. Oh, it is cold this side of the mountain. I need to find a way to get to the fortress before nightfall. This is a shrine of knowledge. Like the place where I learned to shape sentinels. I need to learn how to shape one of these. I wonder what terrifying powers they have. They certainly look harmless. They don't even carry a weapon. I love it when a wonder works as it should. How ingenious. This binding pattern mimics the nature of anima itself. Ah, this is interesting, I get it. They drain anima from a golem and feed it to me. Now these guardians are like. They don't bash an enemy, they soothe it into submission. Is the bridge of frozen tears. It leads straight to the fortress. Odd how quiet it is. The moment of truth now, Otto. Let's go and see what's in store for us. Shaper's drummer, home to all that laughs. I beat faster when afraid and stop when struck by beauty. Frozen from all love, the mountain's fire awakens. Whatever in sundering thunder is he encanting? Wait! I hear Anna! Otto, my love. I'm trapped in this pretty crystal. You won't let me go. Anna! I'm coming! Otto, <laughs> Anna's heart is set to serving a higher purpose. That was a close one. Zar doesn't seem to have full control of his power yet. But Master Jackal was right. He is getting stronger. Anna's heart was wasted on you, petty man. It now serves a grander purpose. This is foul, Zar! How could any good come from sundering another's soul? I am freeing the world from the ancient shapers who enslaved it and left us all to die a slow and agonizing death.
that beautiful jewel. That was a soul shard, Anna. But you are only partially freed. You've been sundered. Sundered? That's a forbidden magic. But look! I am united with you, my love, my precious Muppet. Anna, you don't seem to be entirely yourself. I am my heart. I don't know why I'm just my heart. We should go and ask my mind. She is very smart, and I can hear her calling. She's just found a way to pierce the veil of her prison. I shall call you Heart of Anna. We shall go and find your mind, and then we shall find your body. You are so smart and handsome, my precious Muppet. Whew, I'm so cold. I can pull you into my staff. You'll be warm here. Ah, this is a nice place. A little cramped, but I'll be fine. We need to find your mind. We're going to make you whole again. We've been walking for three days, my love, and we're still no closer to your mind. My mind is so far away. There are a thousand shushings about her, and she wanders deep inside the earth. There are tombs and voices. Wait! She's trying to tell me something. Well, wish, purr. It must be a wishing well. Wish, purr, wait. Does she mean the Well of Whispers? Yes! That's it! You are so smart, my brainy Muppet. The Well of Whispers. What a strange name. You don't remember the Well of Whispers from our schooling years? The Tomb of the Ancient Shapers! We would have to cross the Desert of Wisp. Ah, a desert. I so love the feel of sand between my toes. Heart of Anna, you are adorable. But we really need to find your mind. Hail, stranger! I am Achim. Are you lost? What a delightful ship! It flies! He's a merchant of Wisp. We must be wary, Anna. Hail, Achim! I am Otto. A shaper of Snowcrest. Does your staff talk? I heard a woman's voice. I will make a good trade for it. He wants to trade for me. What a lovely compliment. Ah, oh, it does speak. How much do you want? The staff is not for sale. She's my fiance. Uh, well, she's been sundered by Zar the Banished, and I am collecting the colors of her essence to mend her. Sundered, you say? That's an ancient and evil word. How long have you been wandering out here in the heat? I know it sounds crazy, but my mind is fine. It's my Anna's I'm trying to recover. Can you take me to the Well of Whispers? I need to save her. The tombs of the ancient shapers. Hmm. It'll cost you. Meet me in Logos. It's just outside of the canyon. I can't land here. He just left. He could have thrown us a rope. He must think I'm mad. I like him. I love it when a wonder works as it should. Hey. Wow. This pattern repeats and propagates its own binding. I must try it. Now those are handsome creatures. You are so brilliant, my love. Thanks, Heart of Anna. But it's really the work of the ancient shapers. I just followed the instructions. They are called commanders. They can think, give commands of their own. Look, they're very smart. I like them. But my mind is going to like them even more. They're smart like her. It 
It's such a beautiful desert. Is that the city of Logos over there? I've heard so much about it. I'm glad the city is close, but look! The desert behind it is endless. We'll never be able to cross it. Of course we will, my lovely silly Moppet. We'll walk. Take off your shoes. Feel the sand between your toes. Walk? Your enthusiasm is contagious. I love that about you. I love all manner of things about you too, my lovely precious Moppet. I love the way your forehead wrinkles when you contemplate the wonders. I love the way you laugh when you finally get a joke. I love that expression on your face right now. You do that when you're exasperated. Ah, oh, enough already, Anna. I love your hair, your dimpled cheek, your fat toenails, the way you sing just slightly out of key.
My heart claims the essence of our body is nearby, here in the legendary forests of Netherwatch, that safeguard the entrance to the molten core of Mount Spark. All I can see is that we're lost. Heart of Anna has guided us this far. Why not just ask her? She says we're in the right place. When I told her we were lost, she replied, What a beautiful place to get lost. We're never lost when we have each other. The love that binds us will see us through. Whatever romantic fantasies you must entertain in order to keep your feet walking are fine with me. But let's do keep walking. Zar has a plan. And all we know is that he is growing stronger and ever closer to accomplishing it. Huh. <laughs> Zar hasn't a chance against your sharp wits. <sighs> I'm barely able to hold my own against them. My wits are sharper than a sword. Wield them well, and we shall defeat Zar. Hmm. This pool of water seems to resist the corruption. We should study it more closely. It looks like a good place to rest, if you ask me. While you've been thinking for both of us, I've been going around in circles. <laughs> Have you gone mad, handsome shaper? Arguing with a naked branch? Did you hear that, Anna? Am I going crazy? I have a broad definition of crazy, and you already qualify in many respects. But I did hear a woman's voice. Have you come to comfort me in my final hours? Or are you here to sow destruction, like the Shaper before you? It could be the legendary Princess of Netherwatch, toying with our thoughts. Many tomes of Spark's history speak of her power and mischievous nature. Great Princess of Netherwatch! I am Otto! Here to find the essence of the body of my fiance. She is here somewhere within your vast woods. Call me Maya, Shaper. Shall I grow some bark? You seem to fancy women made of wood. Ah, no need, Princess. Maya, you are certainly striking. I mean, I already have a fiance. She is trapped in my staff. Oh, my! She must have been very annoying for you to put her there. Oh, no. Uh, I didn't put her there. I mean, I did. But she was already sundered into several pieces. Uh, I didn't have a choice. Why should I trust another Shaper? The last one I met cast a horrid spell upon us. That would have been Zar. Uh, Zar the Banished. He was once a Shaper, but now he's a Sunderlord. A new Sunderlord? That would explain a great deal. Zar went into the Maze of Madness with a magical stone. And since then, the forest has been all gloom. The Maze of Madness would be a fitting location for Zar to hide a soul shard. Then our quest is one and the same, Maya. If you lead us to the Maze, I will rid it of all wickedness. For I believe my Anna's body to be hidden in that very stone. Then our words seal the deal. Whenever you need me, just look for a pool of water. I can go anywhere in Netherwatch where water flows. What a strange sensation. I was one with the forest. I could feel her rage. I could sense her desire to burst out of her bark and, and scream. Oh, Otto, you are so adorable when you go a little mad. It suits you well. Look how they suffer. They have lost their spark to the corruption. My sprites are once again full of spark. We should celebrate in song and mischief. When I catch Zar, I shall lock him in the prison with a thousand angry sprites. He shall know fear and pain. Behold, the entrance to the maze of madness. Older than the forests of Netherwatch, only those whose purpose is true may ever return. If saving the life of a loved one isn't true enough purpose, then the ancient shapers will have to make an exception.
This door won't open. It's locked. Ask a nymph. She has proven surprisingly useful. Her name is Maya, Mind of Anna. She's on our side, remember? What? Useful is a compliment. The living portal has always been open to shapers and nymphs alike. But Zar's magic has soiled the three fountains that keep its hinges tame. They are now corrupted by golems. Then we know what must be done. Time to fight. Skin? Ah! The fountain is pure again! We still have two more to go to get to the body of Anna. Are your Annas in the staff beautiful, Otto? As beautiful as me? Well, uh, each of you is beautiful in a different way. I am not nearly as beautiful as you, Maya. You are the incarnation of beauty. In fact, I don't know how Otto keeps from falling madly in love with you. Anna? Stop that. I do admire you, Maya. Your beauty, your courage and your fortitude. But my heart, mind and body belong to Anna. That love cannot be sundered. The waters are cleansed! The fountain laughs and giggles once again! Imagine how patient the ancient builders must have been to devise such a clever system. Fascinating. They were indeed women and men of genius. Alas, it was easily corrupted. And by only one nasty Sunderlord. Such powerful machines should not be made so fragile. We have forgotten how to fix the wonders, Maya. The knowledge was lost. When the branch of a tree breaks, it grows another. You need to stop thinking like shapers and start thinking like trees. Thick skin. You have purged the fountains of corruption. The living portal will open anew. All that's left to do now is go and wrest the essence of Anna's body from the Soul Shard. I was right to entrust you with this quest, Shaper Otto. It is already easier to breathe. It's a pity we're no longer lost. I really love this forest. Oh, my dear Anna. Once you're made whole again, you can visit any time you desire. <laughs> Otto, I can go no further. But why? Together we make such a formidable team. Even I must agree with Otto on this point. I've done my part. I ask you to do yours. If I could follow, I would. Forgive me, Princess Maya. You have completed your quest. You brought me here. I go on not alone. I have your blessing and that of my Annas. Fly then, my handsome shaper. You also take my heart. Stop that horrible chanting, Zar. Do you know how terrifying you sound when you speak like that? Stop it, stop! Heart's cage and prison of life. Purpose in motion, dreams given form, love needs flesh, thoughts need fingers. You are the haven of life's spark. Otto! Is that you? Help me! Zar is being so strange! I'm afraid! Help! Zar! Release her! Otto, the meddling melder! You've learned nothing! You repair the wonders, the prisons of our destinies, the tombs of our dreams! We can make the wonders better, Zar! You are blinded by wrath! Spark will save itself! Once the wonders have fallen, I have seen the future. It is a shame that only your ghost shall behold the new world in all its splendor.
am I? So cold. Anna, I'm here. It is you, Otto. I am rather glad you found me. I've been so afraid. I will soon unite you with your heart and mind. You will be whole again, and then we can defeat Tsar. <laughs> defeat Tsar? No! He's too powerful! We must flee! But Anna, your mind is of a different... mind. My mind is proud and arrogant. We are no match for Tsar. Let's run away, be married, raise a family. It's all I truly desire. Ah. Your fears will soon be behind you, my love. It is time to reunite you with your sisters and make you whole. Master the power that binds, with spark for greater good. This is so lovely. Oh, let's dance, let's dance and dance some more. Are you sure this is safe? I'm getting dizzy. Otto, something is wrong. The binds are not holding. Shaper Otto! Stop casting this wicked enchantment, now! Anna! My Anna! Why can't I reshape them into one again? Have you turned wicked? Do you want your true Anna, or a moppet you can order to do your own bidding? I don't understand, Maya. I've united the three colors of her essence, but she won't be made whole. Have you shapers forgotten everything? Anima is magic. You can shape it, but your creations are Similax, obedient and soulless. Anima cannot create true life. Your Anna was, is, a living creature. Then, all is lost. What am I to do? You need Anna's spark. It's her will and passion. The part she shaped herself throughout life, with each and every choice she made. Having met the rest of her, Anna's spark must be very powerful. That's it. I thought Zar just wanted to get me out of the way, but he needs our spark. It's the ingredient of a spell to awaken the mountain. All the rituals, that's what he's been preparing to do all along. That must be Zar's true purpose. He discovered that the amazing wonders are also wondrous prisons. He would destroy them by unleashing Mount Spark's fury. Snowcrest. The Desert of Wisp, Netherwatch, overrun by golems. It will take us centuries to recover. Which way to the heart of Mount Spark, Maya? You must take me there. This does not bode well. Can't we find me a new spark somewhere else? The Icelands, or the Islands of Eternal Spring? I'm sorry, Body of Anna. Your spark is unique to you. You wouldn't be you without it. After all this, we may never be the same again. I have seen now what's at stake if we do not stop Tsar. The world we know will perish and there will be nowhere to hide. Can't we just be happy with the time we have left? I spent so many years training to be a shaper, wasted in one sundering blunder. We could have been married years ago. Oh, if only I had renounced my title. I never met that Anna. I fell in love with the Anna who vowed to serve the lives of others. Very well then, my stubborn moppet. I would so like to hold you in my arms again. Perhaps in the next life. You shall hold me again. In this life and the next. Oh, how beautiful this place is. I love the smoldering rivers. It's like we're in the middle of a living oven, like walking loaves of bread. Well, that's definitely one way of seeing things. This is the scariest place I have ever seen in my life. We should run away right now. Tsar is going to crack a rift into the molten core using our spark as a catalyst. That's what I would do. What you would do? How would you even know how? I mean, isn't that sundering magic? I and my soul sisters spent a lot of time with Zar. We're beginning to understand how sundering magic works. Or rather, we are beginning to grasp its laws. Raw anima is not evil. It is simply untamed. Ah, 
That's a relief. Does that mean there could still be some good left in Zar? You must stop Zar before he can cast our spark into the molten core. If that much anima comes into contact with the living spark of a shaper, the mountain will explode. The odds are not in our favor, Otto, but I sincerely believe there is a chance, albeit a slight one, that we can defeat Zar, if the circumstances are favorable. You have progressed immensely, Otto. I am proud to be your fiancé. Thank you, Anna. And here we go, down into the belly of the angry Mount Spark. You are going to win this day, my precious Moppet, and save all of Spark. We are doomed. But if we are to die today, I take comfort knowing that I am to perish with my one true love. Onward to our demise, together and to the end, smashed by golems and a Sunderlord. Thank you, my Annas. I could never do this without you all. If we die, I'm sure they'll sing great songs about us. Otto, the meddling melder and his staff of many Annas, we have been waiting for you. Otto, kick some sense into this fool and be done with this nonsense. Don't do this, Tsar. There is another way to save the lands of Spark. We need to work together. This is the only way. Our sacrifice will bring about the dawn of a new age of never-ending beginnings. Behold the triumph of chaos! I cast you, Spark of Anna, into the heart of the mountain of creation! May all be asunder, and all be anew. I will not serve your foul purpose! Ah, misguided Supreme Shaper, your destiny is sealed. Now you force me to sunder your will. Our spark is resisting, Otto. But she won't hold for long. You must do something. Help her resist as long as you can. I need to repair the heart shield. It's the only way to keep Zar from waking the mountain. Curse you, Otto. You only prolong the agony of spark and the suffering of your precious Anna. You have repaired the heart shield, but I shall simply sunder it again, once I have rid this world of you forever. Thrash him, Otto. He is weak or he wouldn't be blathering. He's stalling to gain time. <laughs> I have never been stronger, Spark of Anna. Behold the power of a Sunderlord within a mountain of virgin anima! You shall know a glorious death as I sunder you into a thousand pieces and feed them to the wicked wonders. The power that binds. And the force that sunders are all part of life, Tsar. If you could have only seen that, together we could have got them working in harmony. Spark of Anna. Join your sisters and bind yourselves back into the Anna of my life. Heart, together we form one. Mind, together we form one. Body, together we form one. Spark. Together we form one. Anna? Is it you? The true you? <laughs> yes, it's me, Otto. All of me. And much more. I've seen the world with different faces. I can hear the untamed animas yearning. But... it's dangerous. Zar lost himself to that yearn. <laughs> you silly moppet. I'm not a Sunderlord. I just know how to guide Anima without binding it to a purpose. And you fixed the heart shield. How's it holding? Well, it works. Maybe better than before. It used to just drain off the excess power and feed it into the network of wonders. Now it could work both ways. You turned it into a giant heart. That's a good way of looking at it. But I can't get it to start beating. I've tried. 
silly Moppet. You cannot bind it to your will. It needs to dance free, unbound of our will. Raise your staff with mine, and let's dance. It's working! Mount Spark now acts as the heart of the wonders. Its powers will not deplete, but beat with a constant rhythm. We've done it! You did it, Otto. You have surpassed the knowledge of the builders, the shapers of old. Oh, oh, it was nothing. I'm just glad all this is over. Now we can take a nice, long and well-deserved rest. Rest? Are you kidding? The wedding's next week, and we still have so much to prepare. What will we serve our guests? What will you wear? What will I wear? We just saved the world. I'm sure we'll do just fine.